Now Diddy has officially been exposed by damaging footage proving Cassie's case. Now some are saying this might be the final nail in the coffin for Diddy. Now CNN was able to actually gain footage of Diddy physically assaulting Cassie in a hotel back in 2016, an incident she also mentioned in her explosive lawsuit against the diddler. Now in the video, Diddy is seen chasing after Cassie in a bath towel after she left the room to leave the hotel. It's over. Everything starts from now. As he approaches her at the elevators, he grabs her by the neck and throws her on the floor. He then turns to kick her multiple times. After he picks up her belongings, he then furthers the abuse by dragging her down the hallway by her jacket. A few moments later, Diddy leaves the scene and Cassie gets up to call someone from the floor on the telephone. Now as she's on the phone, Diddy returns and he can be seen through a mirror on the floor throwing cases and other objects in Cassie's direction. Now this disturbing video further verifies Cassie's claims against Diddy that she made in her 2023 lawsuit. In the filing, she recalled this same incident that occurred in March 2016. She claimed Diddy had become extremely intoxicated and punched Miss Ventura in the face, giving her a black eye. When he fell asleep, Cassie attempted to get away, but as the video shows, he woke up and followed her. He grabbed at her and then took glass vases in the hallway and threw them at her, causing glass to crash around them as she ran to the elevator to escape, the complaint alleges. In the complaint, Cassie says some of the hotel staff made comments to her that suggested they saw the abuse via the cameras, but Diddy allegedly paid them $50,000 to get rid of the footage. The gut riching video has only further confirmed the disturbing and predatory behavior of Diddy. Now, after Ventura got into the elevator, her complaint indicates that she took a cab to her apartment. Upon realizing that her running away would cause Mr. Combs to get angrier with her and completely stuck in his vicious cycle of abuse, Miss Ventura returned to the hotel with the intention of apologizing for actually running away from Diddy. Now, this is crazy. Now, when she returned, the hotel security staff urged her to get back into a cab and go to her apartment, suggesting that they had seen the security footage showing Mr. Combs putting hands on her. Now, Ventura, who was formally signed to Combs' label, claimed in her suit that he exerted power and influence over her throughout the course of their professional and romantic relationship. According to the complaint, she was only 19 when she met Combs, who was at the time 37 years old, and their business relationship lasted until 2019. It detailed that Combs was physically violent towards Ventura and forced her to engage in various ex acts with other men during that time. I don't know about y'all, but this is definitely a smoking gun video. Diddy cannot come back from this. No way, no how. Definitely crazy stuff, man. And it's sad, man, to see him put hands and feet on that damn woman, man. Absolutely disturbing. Y'all, I wanted to get you guys' opinion on this particular clip. How do y'all feel about Diddy? And some of y'all that may have different feelings about him, did that change y'all feelings at all? So guys, y'all make sure y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. If y'all think this video was crazy, make sure y'all click on the video that's currently on your screen right now and find out what happened with the curse of the movie, The Last Dragon. And I'll peep y'all on the next one.